Hello all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this lecture video, I'm going to discuss about why data acquisition systems are required. What are the fundamentals of data acquisition system? By the way, let us come back from the sensors or transducer. Sensors or transducer, whatever the devices that converts the one form of energy to another form of energy. Okay. So once we get the output from the transducer or sensor, that signal will be converted into the desirable form. So for example, some certain amplification will be given. Some cases attenuation will be provided. So by using signal conditioning device, we can provide amplification or attenuation. All right. That is what we discussed in the previous session. Now, the output of signal conditioning device, whatever the output we obtain, no? it is actually the amplified or attenuated signal that has to be converted into different forms. For example, the requirement of the system is digital, but what is the available input? Available input is analog, then what you will do? So analog data will be converted into digital data. Some cases, the data need to be stored by using any, any kind of memory, you need to store the data. Otherwise, you have to take the print of the information, whatever the output of signal conditioning device that you have to take the print. For that purpose, we require one device called data acquisition system. Again, let's come back. First of all, we have sensors or transducers, number one. Number two, we require signal conditioning devices. Number three, we need data acquisition system. I think you got the flow that is required. Now we'll understand the basics of data acquisition system. So moving on to the definition. Initially, we can say that the data acquisition system, it can be defined as a system for data processing. Note down this. Later, data conversion, analog to digital or digital to analog. Then data transmission. Data will be transmitted using any kind of communication channels. You can go for data transmission and using any kind of memory or any, any other system, data storage also can be done. So the whole process are generally called as data acquisition system. Let us have a brief overview about the block diagram of data acquisition system. Let us start from the external, the extreme left side. We can say the physical signal. It may be force or it may be temperature or it may be displacement, whatever it may be. Using the transducer, the physical signal will be converted into electrical signal. Okay, I'll be writing like electrical signal only. Electrical signal or electrical, electrical, okay, signal. Electrical signal, the output of a transducer, the electrical signal may be too weak. So certain amplification can be given using the signal conditioning device. By using the sector of signal conditioning devices, you are providing the strength to the electrical signal which is produced by the transducer. That is very clear. Then output of signal conditioning device, you know, it is having more strength. Correct? It is a measurable form. It is a, in a certain desirable form you have got. Now what you do? The requirement may be digital. Okay. So you have to convert analog to digital. So for that purpose, you are going to use data acquisition system. All the informations are collected by using a multiplexer. You know, here this is an analog multiplexer. Multiplexer means there are n number of inputs. There will be an output based on the selector switch. Correct? Now, the output of analog multiplexer, basically out, what is the output of analog multiplexer? Obviously, analog signal only. What is our requirement? Our requirement will be digital. Correct. Definitely we require analog to digital converter. It is also known as ADC, analog to digital converter. So using the analog to digital converter, whatever the signal which is obtained from the analog multiplexer, that's going to convert into digital form. If you convert into digital form, there are a lot of advantages. Then you can take the print of the information, uh, have a digital display, seven segment display, then go for magnetic tap. You must have heard about CD, right? It operates based on the same principle. Data transmission. If you want to transmit a certain distance, data transmission is possible. That means communication system. Then you can uh, in the, connect the information with the computer, your personal computer. 
Also, if you require the information just in the form of analog only means directly you can collect from here. That means output of multiplexer. So you can go for recording, the display, metering, etc. So the entire system is generally called as data acquisition system. I think you understood. I think uh, you have got an idea about what is a data acquisition system. Moving on to the further discussion. So you can define the data acquisition in this fashion. Data acquisition system comprises of individual sensors or transducers, thereafter signal conditioning device units, then multiplexing units, data conversion, ADC or DAC, and data processing, data handling and associated with the transmission, and there is a storage system, and finally display system. The entire signal, the entire system can be called as data acquisition system. It is very essential for all the type of measurement system. If any sensors are there, if you are using a measurement system, definitely we need a data acquisition. So analog data is converted in the form of digital data by using analog to digital converter. It is also known as ADC. Similarly, data can be transmitted over a long distance or short distance. Similarly, data can be displayed by using uh, LCD or LED or in a CRT monitor, Okay, DSO, digital storage oscilloscope. These are the requir requirements. Based on the requirement, you have to uh, do the data acquisition. Okay, that is a purpose. Purpose will be different, you know. As you can observe, uh, the importance of DAC and ADC in a data acquisition system. Uh, so it is, uh, the working, the graph represents the conversion the analog signal is going to convert into digital signal. So we have an analog signal, you can see analog signal. So from the analog signal, you are going to identify a certain points by using the uh, analog to digital conversion. This is what exactly happened, okay? So these points are called as sampled points, sample points, and this point is generally called as digitized points, okay? This is what exactly happening uh, in case of ADC, analog to digital converter. Now I'll be discussing about what, what are the elements which are used in a data acquisition system. So we have transducer to convert the physical input into electrical signal. To provide the strength for the signal, we need signal conditioner. There is a calibrating equipment for the measurement system. So integrating equipment, okay, it may be a multiplexer and there is, there is a visual devices, LCD, LED, etc. Then there should be a graphic recording instruments, then magnetic tech instruments, especially CD, then analog computers, then high speed camera and TV equipments. Like that, there are varieties of equipments available. Now, I would like to ask one question to everyone why data acquisition systems are required? See, for the user requirement, right? That means to acquire the necessary data and correct speed and the correct time. So anywhere information is required from the sensor, definitely that information has to be processed in a scientific manner. Okay. To be able to compute performance using online and real time data. Correct. That is another purpose. And to make use of all data efficiently and systematically. So that is another purpose of data acquisition. To summarize the data, because we'll be getting so many data to summarize, interpret, analyze, etc. You can store the data for the future purpose uh, to provide the effective human communication system from transmitter side to receiver side. Because user may be in a remote places, the measurement system may be some other places. So the data uh, can be transmitted from uh, the sending end to receiver side by using the data acquisition system to identify and rectify the issue. So these are the various purposes of the data acquisition system. So today we discussed what do we mean by data acquisition system. There is a block diagram. I have explained the importance of data acquisition system and what are the major components of data acquisition system. Thereafter, I discussed about the purpose, the need for data acquisition system. I hope you have understood the importance of data acquisition system. If you are having any uh, detailed questions or any type of queries, feel free to ask with me. You can put your questions in the comment box. Definitely I'm going to revert. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a happy learning.